So we're going to clean the mass airflow sensor on a 2001 MR2 Spider. Uh, these items here are just the items we're going to need to uh, use. It's not overly complicated. We got some shop towels, a couple of flashlights, um, our headlamp and a light, CRC, uh, mass airflow sensor cleaner, and a trusty uh, screwdriver, Phillips head. Uh, as you can see right down in here, that's your mass airflow sensor. It's probably a good idea to wipe everything off. As you can see, I have like a leaf down in here. thought it was a spider at first, but <clears throat> it's just because it's near Halloween time. Um, that's what I expect to see. But I get all the dirt off here so it doesn't fall in when we take these two screws off. There's one here and there's one back on the back side, just two Phillips screws. And let's get some of that dirt off of there and unplug this uh, electrical side here. All right. Pull that guy off and clean this before we take the screws off. Oh. My screws here happen to look a little bit corroded, so you really want to put some downward pressure on this when you're starting to twist so you don't strip them. They are not very tight. I think it would be a bad idea to over tighten these. But you can see the top of that thing isn't looking overly pretty. So we'll get that one and we'll get this one here in the back. A little downward pressure. it. So we'll grab that and pull straight up. You can see this side here is quite clean on that wire. And if you turn it over you look at the other side, it's very dirty. Dark color. And I've seen some of the videos on these things and everybody tries to show you down inside of this hole and you can't ever see the wire in there. All right, I was able to get light down inside of there. You can see those wires inside. So that's what you're looking to clean up inside there. These actually don't look overly dirty, but we're gonna spray them off since we have this off of here and we're gonna get it cleaned. Okay, we're gonna start with the dirty one just because we'll be able to see a difference. You can already see changing colors. That looks better. Then we're going to do the other side. Inside there, oh, I can actually see those. From what I understand, these all these little wires are not overly strong, so I wouldn't be mucking about with. Touching them. I've seen some people try and clean them with like cotton balls or q tips or something like that, but this stuff is getting it so clean without touching it. Seems like you're going to be doing less potential damage. So it all looks super clean. I turned it kind of upside down uh, just so some of that could drain out. It's very quick drying, but on some of these. 
there's like little holes and stuff. I just, I noticed there was some puddling in there because I definitely gave it a good dousing and I just want that stuff to dry. So I'll turn it kind of at an angle and let all that dribble out in case there was any in there. Do a couple shakes and then just let it um, sit there and dry for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Looks very dry. Everything looks clean compared to what it was before. So we're gonna put this guy back in. So just the same as it was. Put a couple screws in and then we'll connect this electrical. This back screw isn't as fun as the front one because it's got not as good of an angle with this bar in the way, but you can still mostly get to it, mostly. All right, you feel it when it's getting pretty snug. Again, I wouldn't go overly crazy on these. They're pretty tiny screws anyways. And it clicks right on and you're good to go.